Hello everyone, in this video, let us go through the questions that were asked on the community recently. So the first question is uh, upgrade from uh, 7.12.3 to 8.5.0. So this user is asking about uh, how can I upgrade from uh, version 7 to version uh, 8.5 and uh, the answer is very simple. You just follow the uh, normal procedure and this procedure for uh, upgrading your Jira instance is actually uh, well documented and you can uh, follow the documentation and you can uh, go through of course all the uh, add-ons that should be compatible. So do your normal uh, upgrade procedure. It is very well documented and you can of course find it uh, on the Atlassian documentation. So when you're doing an upgrade you just need to make sure that uh, all the add-ons should be compatible and of course uh, do the upgrade first on uh, staging instance and then ask your uh, your stakeholders or maybe your UAT candidates to of course uh, verify and uh, validate whether the upgrade uh, uh, has not really caused any problem by validating that all the features are working all the customizations are working the second question is uh, about uh, how to summarize the uh, work log of different Jira projects. So this question is uh, quite uh, common. A lot of people ask this question. Let us say you are uh, working on Jira and you have different activities, uh, maybe in one project or maybe multiple projects. And uh, when people log their uh, effort on, uh, let us say, uh, one uh, or multiple Jira issues, and if those issues are uh, linked to each other, maybe they want to uh, consolidate the work log from uh, different issues into a single issue. So natively this is uh, not really possible in uh, Jira unless you're using subtasks. So when you're using subtasks you can definitely uh, uh, have a summary of your work log of subtasks and of course your parent as well but in case those issues are linked to maybe uh, 10 different other issues then you need to uh, do some uh, scripting and you can of course use uh, script runner for doing uh, this uh, customization you can actually use script runner to update or basically do basically do the consolidation of your work log from uh, multiple issues into one issue the third question is uh, uh, two fixed versions shown in one row in kanban backlog so this uh, question is uh, uh, something really interesting because even i was not sure about uh, this uh, this question but uh, when i looked at my agile board i quickly understood uh, what this user is uh, asking about so basically when you have your agile boards and when you have uh, more than uh, one version associated with uh, let us say your story or any issue that appears in the uh, backlog it, it is this particular uh, question this particular problem is uh, valid for both kanban and scrum board so when you have one version associated with your uh, with, with your uh, issue you have that uh, label of version displayed on the backlog but when you have uh, multiple versions associated with one issue you don't really see two or three versions on the uh, on the row of your uh, backlog view you basically get a label that says two versions or three versions and uh, i understand uh, why this is the case because when you have multiple versions the layout can be disturbed that is why when you have multiple versions associated with your issue you just see a single label that says uh, one two not one but two three or four uh, versions now if you want to display all the versions that are associated with your issue what you can do you can uh, basically add multi basically add the version field in your uh, card and you can add up to three fields uh, in your uh, card and that can be uh, done for the backlog view as well and in that case uh, you can of course see all the versions uh, in the next row of your uh, of your basically backlog card that appears on the backlog view and uh, let us go through the uh, fourth question and uh, this question is uh, again very common but uh, 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 not many people know about this so this user is asking about can we restrict creation of subtask based on their parent issue so this user is actually asking about i want to restrict creation of 
a subtask once their parent tasks are closed how can we achieve this so this is actually possible with the help of uh, workflow properties so workflow properties uh, will let you do further customizations in your uh, transitions in the uh, workflow so in many cases people want to either restrict or maybe they want to allow the creation of subtask even after the uh, parent issue has been closed but in case you want uh, uh, no subtask should be added to the to the uh, activity to the parent so you can use the jira dot uh, issue dot editable uh, property and if you set this uh, property as uh, false or maybe if you set it uh, uh, to true the uh, behavior of the issue can be uh, different so if you set uh, jira dot issue dot editable is equal to false and if you add this uh, property to your closed step in the workflow then your uh, issue will become uh, non-editable so you can't make any changes to your issue along with uh, the addition of a further subtask so these are the four questions that i wanted to cover in this video and uh, this is my second video in uh, this uh, series and i think uh, the whole idea of uh, these uh, videos is to basically share the answers that people ask on the community and uh, generate awareness around Atlassian products. So if you like uh, this video, do let me know and I'll probably uh, continue making uh, similar videos in future. Thank you very much.